tired of waiting. Paige, they think this is costing them money? Absolutely. They think it's costing a lot of money because people are deterred to coming through when they see this mess behind me. I mean, just take a look. It's piles of wood, piles of metal, and nothing's been done about it for three full months. And they hope it's cleaned up soon for the sake of their business. A pile of bricks, broken bottles, and ash. Just some pieces left behind from the Villa Town Motel. There's this big pile of garbage, and it's like we don't want this place to be associated with that place at all. Robert Hawley works at the Copper Caboose just feet away from the rubble. We want it gone as fast as possible. Three months ago, a new owner bought Villa Town Motels, promising to fix up the crime hotspot. He sold us a dream that said that he was going to do big things over here, but right now we're not seeing anything. And just days later, the place went up in flames. Since that day, almost three months ago, nothing has been done to clean up the property. On uh, Google reviews, we've seen that, you know, people are saying they don't want to come here because of what's next door to us. So it's like, you know, we don't want to be it at all associated with what happened over there or what's going on over there now. It's not just an eyesore either, it's also dangerous. I mean, I see kids riding their bikes, small children outside playing, and I would hate for a child to get in there and injure themselves. If you look right down there, the gate is just open. Copper Caboose is working to rebrand their image and get more customers. And now that it's gone, we want to see that move into our past so that we can start developing a, a more healthy future for this community. But they say that's hard with the remains of Villa Town next door. We reached out to the owner of this property to see what they're planning to do next with the property, and we did not receive a call back. For now, reporting at former Villatown Motel, I'm Paige Peroso, KMAC News.